from downtown Detroit. Local 4 News at 5.30 starts now. These Detroit students have reached the top of their game. They brought home a national championship in a game that requires a massive brain power. The University Prep Science and Math chess team took home first place rankings. It's fantastic. As Nick Monticelli reports, this chess competition was the largest in U.S. history. You probably know that the Michigan Science Center is a great place to get some hands-on science learning. But did you know that there's actually schools inside of the Science Center? Oh, and did you know that their students just won national chess championships? We could not have done this without uh, the support of our parents. It's not every day that a team is honored by the Detroit City Council, and it's not every day that the team is a chess team. But you are looking at a national champion chess team from the University of Prep Science and Math Elementary and Middle Schools. This is a very big deal. <laughs> Misha Basher is the principal there. She says last month the chess team competed in Nashville, which turned out to be the largest chess tournament in U.S. history. The team took two first place prizes in their age rankings, and not only that. There's one kid that I would like to single out. But this sixth grader, Cameron Rector, beat 379 other players, making him the top K-8 chess player in the entire country. When asked how hard it was, he said, hard. He just tried not to overthink it. If I knew if I thought a lot about the piece or my move, then I would overthink, and I wouldn't be able to make the move that I really wanted to move. So congratulations to Cameron and the rest of his chess mates, a group of kids putting even more pride into Detroit. But the spirit of Detroit is what you carry around in your heart. And when you go and represent this great city and other places, you're carrying the spirit of Detroit with you. In Detroit, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. How about so it? Awesome. Fantastic. School district has decided to congratulate the team as well. They're taking them all on a trip to Cedar Point. Congratulations.